episode of Diary of a Professional. It is Blue, D, Ashley, and we want to talk about golden handcuffs. I know you're going to wonder what it's about. Stay tuned. We'll get there. Maybe not what you think, but it'll still be worth it. Trust me. Um, before we get into that, we're going to get into our gratitude. Okay. <sighs> okay, I think I'll start. My moment of gratitude, um, I realized that I am surrounded by a whole bunch of sadges. Mm. Amen to the sadges. And can I tell you, not one of them is like the other. Like, And these are people like close to me, and I know about like five, <laughs> and I can't make head or tails of like y'all personality, but I know I love y'all. <laughs> and I'm sitting next to two right here. And, you know, with every season, my season's coming up. It's cool. It's cool. Yes, it is. But, um, Quickly approaching. Yes. But I just want to say I love them, and they're great. Um, there's some crazy signs out there. <clears throat> I even keep some crazy Scorpios, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, I have a problem dating them, and I've stopped. <laughs> yeah, that's You a... recognize the issue when you cut yeah. the hair? A lot. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're a handful. Yeah. They're a handful. <laughs> and they have the nerve to call it like Sagittarius. I've heard that. I've heard that. They wildin'. I I don't know. I think we're amazing. Like we're so free flowing. Like I don't get where they get this terrorist thing from. It's <laughs> wild. I don't know, but listen, one can only be blessed to know and love an Aquarius. But mm. I will say to be surrounded by Sagittarius is not bad company. So. <laughs> Is definitely never monotonous. That's for sure. For sure. That's for sure. I think maybe that we're also different because you have probably different moons. Oh, and everyone's like really for into sure. astrology. Like for sure. I, for think sure. I mean, why. we have different many things. Like there's so many other our personal planets like impact us so much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. My moon is in Cancer. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, <laughs> my moon is actually in Scorpio. Look at oh. you! I'm a Libra, mm -hmm. um, so that's why I'm like you. How we're okay. kind of all different. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. But all right, right y'all. All right, who go next? I'll go next. Uh -huh. Um, I am grateful for um this time of year during the holiday season. And She's all mine. Oh okay. my goodness. <laughs> okay. During the time of year, it is holiday time, mm. being off, love relaxing, love love sharing love, giving love. You have to relax during this season. And it's our birthday time. season. Oh, it oh. is. Um, depending when this airs, I might be 33 at this time. Oh, or Jesus heading, year. I might like, Jesus year or I might be heading towards I think I'll be 33 by this time. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I always love December during the holiday holiday time. I have some time off. So this is like the most wonderful time of the year. Mm. It's the most wonderful, wonderful time, time of the year. year. <laughs> Yeah, we did that. Um, yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I mean, I love me the holidays. There's just this air of just hopefulness and like there's beautiful decor. Like the, the trees have lights outside and they're doing I mean, holiday yeah. strolls and the kitties are excited for their yeah. gifts and you know, I you know, there's just so much love that happens during the holiday season. I know it's tough for some, you know. Um, you know, for some people it's probably the hardest time of the year. Yeah. Um, you know, I am mindful of that, but think you know, it's all about mindset and, and for me it's certainly the most wonderful time of the year. Um and you know, we're we're two days apart in our birthdays, so we love our birthday. Like I love my birthday. Like I take off so much time for my As birthday you every year. I mean, y'all will find out with our topic. I'll I'm job searching, so I don't know that I'll have so much time to take off because you'll be starting fresh. They don't be giving you as many days off. But sometimes you gotta let them okay. know on the front end after you sign the paperwork. After you're like, well, for my birthday every year, I need two weeks. Yeah, like period, point blank. 
Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to spend some time with family. I'm excited, you know, I can't eat nothing, but like, I'm excited to even just see it and smell it and <laughs> see everybody else doing it. And I don't know. That'd it's just amazing. Me. It's rough. It's <laughs> rough. I'm not going to lie y'all, but this is why they have you do it. Right. Because it is hard. Right. And that's like what shows the commitment to to earth and to the experience so yeah but yeah that's what i'm grateful for mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Yes. and so i guess we'll get right into topic do y'all want me to explain what this yes. let, let the people know let the people know. all right so the golden handcuffs is this lie that is perpetuated by these corporate companies right they like lure you in with these 401k plans and matching and you know the insurance and stability all the, that stability and you know they oak you okie doke you in there but really you're in there and you're miserable right it's eating at your soul a little bit more every single day they ask for more and more every year with very little increase in pay if mm. any mm -hmm. okay and you know you get so comfortable you know you have your vacation time that you've accrued you have this you have that and you know you get sucked into these golden handcuffs and people find it an almost impossible task to get out of it you know so we wanted to dedicate some time as professionals to address yes. Some of this you know i'm right now in a moment of transition right i've been saying it for a couple of years i'm just in there just hoping and praying that things will get better um and it just seems like every year it just gets worse and worse and it's like doris like this is insanity like you can't continue to do this expecting that this is going to change like their goals their needs are not going to change you know are not changing like they have you know, especially these big companies, they their biggest concern are their shareholders. Yeah. Right. So fuck what your employees really need. Right. And what will really make things work function properly because they're not willing to take a step back to leap forward. Right. When sometimes mm. you have to do that. So I'm like, you know what? Wait a minute. I'm expecting them to do that. I need to do that myself. So I've I've finally made the decision like when I come back from my trip, um, to fully, you know, go in looking for something else. And if I have to take a step back to leap forward, well, I will go with God. Okay. And we have to believe in ourselves. We have to believe in our skills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to not do let them dupe us into thinking that there is nothing better. There is, you can work for yourself. You can find another company that is better aligned with who you are and what you believe in and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let me tell you, love it. So happy for you. It's courageous and brave. Do it scary. Cause I know yeah. that shit is scary. Scary as fuck. Like scary time. So that's that. I think there's like many awakenings. I think those are one of the like gems that have come out of COVID and pandemic because people are realizing, let me tell you as broke and destitute and struggling as people are there are people flourishing like they never had before hundred because they knew how to take advantage of certain situations and there's always money to be had mm -hmm. yeah like look at in these times whether it's like influencers people are making money off of what we're doing here there are companies who are like we want you to like sell shit you know what i mean and i think it's important that you know your strengths um find what you're passionate about find what you're good at and find a way to monetize it because like right now in nursing i know so many people who like they're comfortable where they at you know they have their benefits they've had their 403b they're enrolled they have seniority all that things but then someone might come in out of nowhere who's a travel nurse that's some, someone who's not part of the company they're not mm -hmm. they just come in to kind of help and where you could be making 50 an hour, and honestly, that's like good compared to most states, um, they'll come in making 125. Correct. Doing the same exact job that you're doing. Like in the pandemic, people were paying off mortgages like that. People were buying property and like 
almost like building that generational wealth no one saw possible. Mm -hmm. So all these hospitals who were like, you're lucky if you get a sliver of pizza to show appreciation for your staff and not getting anything. And oh, we the have to freeze. Pizza. Yeah, we have to freeze raises so and we nice. can't match your 403B. And the, but there's money. There's money because they're paying these people regularly to do exactly what you're doing. And it makes you go, why the fuck am I loyal to you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why don't I just... No, that's why the great resignation, like they're calling it that. Yes. Because people are frustrated and over it. It is because if I'm going to work hard, especially work hard for someone else to eat and sleep good, what am I getting out of it? They're, listen, I'm not mad. I'm not there yet, I will say. But I completely understand the people that do. And there's just, there's a reason why all your Amazon packages aren't coming in. There's a reason why it's taking six months for, for furniture. Correct. Because people are making more money sitting on their couch than they are busting their ass for pennies. Correct. It costs to put gas in the car. It yeah. costs to travel, to yeah. get there, to feed yourself. Why don't I just stay home? To get somebody to take care of your kids? Oh, like, we're not even that. I mean, hello. That's a whole nother beast. Yes. Yeah. So I think people are finding the locks to these golden handcuffs or realizing they really are just like a mirage. And I kind of love they that are. for us because sometimes you need a little motherfucking upheaval. Sometimes you need to shake the table. And so people can, like, I'm one who likes to live in reality, good or bad. Let's deal with what is, and it's been a whole hot mess, and whole hot mess, and we need change, and that's not gonna happen until we say enough. And is it has enough. to be us because they're living good. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like millennials, like us as millennials, we're okay. We're really comfortable with just up and moving and changing things around and up and leaving our yeah. jobs compared to like baby baby boomers. Right, like we're mm -hmm. comfortable. Like or no like parents. parents. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I forget it. These Gen Zers don't really want to do too much. Oh no! Oh, so they can't deal with that stress, and they're not willing to. They're not. So you know, these companies are are realizing quick, fast that shit. We can't find people to employ. Right. Yeah. And don't feel bad because they're like, oh, we invested money in training you. That's your fucking job. Yeah, no, I've changed my job so many times in the past few years. Like, I have, the moment I feel it doesn't sit right with me, mm -hmm. the moment I'm like, oh, no, I don't feel like I'm being treated well here. Right. Do, do, do. I'm already looking for a new job. Yes. Keep There's the resumes too, updated. Yeah, always necessary. keep your resumes updated. There's always so many different opportunities. Take the chance, take the leap. You may know, like, you mm -hmm. may never know. Um, I mean, I worked at one hospital for 10 years. I was comfortable there, but after a while, I'm like, Okay, I've been here. Yep. Okay, yep. now what? Yep. Right. And well, that's where I'm at. It's like the people are the same, the culture is the same, yeah. everything's like, all right, like I'm growing and nobody is growing around me. Mm. Like I don't fit in here anymore, right? And then, you know, what what is there left to do? They're not gonna they I can't force them to grow with me. Right. I have to go. Yeah. Right. And you know, I know that there's a lot of us out there that are that are feeling that because we're also the millennials at the same time, we're comfortable leaving, but we're also comfortable staying. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Like we can put in that work and the longevity and really, you know, yes. nurture something. Right. We're not fleeting. No. Right. So if we flee, something's wrong. Yeah. You know, and I'm noticing like day after day, we're losing more and more people and not just where I'm at, but in so many different places and so many different fields. It's like they're pressuring us to do more and more that we don't want to do or we didn't sign up for yes. or, you know, things that don't sit right in our spirit. And there just are more things we live and we don't see the good things in the news they're not telling us that there right. are a lot of opportunities, blah, blah, blah. Because why? The same people that are managing our news outlets are the same people that want to keep us in golden handcuffs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? But there are opportunities out there. You know, there are different money streams and people are doing it at all education levels, yes. at all money levels, at all of them. They are right. out yes. there. And while money is not the motivation, it is a necessary, it's a necessity, necessity yeah. but you also want to have a good quality of life. Like it's like, like I'm more used to working three days a week. 
I knew from the very beginning, five days isn't for me. It's really not. Like, I, I just, it's, I can't do it. I can't be one of those people who, like, looks forward to Friday, but Friday, you're already exhausted. Saturday is kind of like your only day, and Sunday, you're already planning for Monday. Mm -hmm. I can't live like that. I like if I want to be off from Thursday to like Sunday or whatever, I can make my schedule and be off that way. And I think there are ways to tailor. And honestly, I feel like if it really wasn't for like healthcare benefits, everybody would be part time. And that's how they keep. That's another way they keep you. If that you're not a full time employee, you. if you're not a full time employee, you can't go and get Tylenol from yeah. the pharmacy. But also, let's be honest, the way that they're paying and the way that our cost of living is set up, people can't afford to be part-time. This is true too. People just can't afford. Too. We want it, but who can afford it? Yeah. Especially in New York. Yeah. <laughs> like in New York, hell. Listen, you find yourself with someone longer than you expected or more roommates than you expected just because you're trying to survive. That's a problem because I like my peace. Okay. Oh, listen, amen to that. Uh, I love me my own space. I can't, f people out here four or five, and we shouldn't need to do that. Mm -hmm. Like, people should have the capacity. As, and we're talking about, and not to say that education, them, but, you know, they claim, oh, you got a degree. We're talking about degreed people out Poor here. Professionals. Poor professionals. And people are out here needing to roommate with five different people so they can live in a semi-decent area yeah. and be able to actually go out with their friends and have a couple drinks and go to a couple restaurants to experience something new. Yes. This is crazy. Yes. Yeah, we can't just be living on ramen because that's crazy. It's not that's a quality insane. of life. And imagine that will kill you. having uh, a horrible... That's for college years. <laughs> research that but it surely ain't the three dollars yeah. at least you know we and honestly i didn't and do they're it until using later. the same cheap liquor let's make that yes, clear the same. let's make that clear because yes. it's not like oh but you know they're no they're using right. that same raggedy ass tequila that they use honestly back then. honestly <laughs> but it worked back then it okay did. I'll, I'll do that shit over again yeah. oh my god although i noticed later that tequila don't sit right with me so you know, I we'll I would I would yeah I no still, I would I, still, I would go with I still fuck with some tequila. I, I had some Migos this weekend, y'all. I don't know. I would just <laughs> my body's not set up the way it used to, but sometimes I can't. Uh, it's a bad flashback, but gin right now is kind of the only. That's thing. my baby. That's the only thing that my body is like. I can't even do whiskey I, right now, but it's too much too. sugar for me. Me too. Yeah. Even whiskey, if I have too, I can only have a couple drinks of whiskey now. But give me some gin though. Yeah. yeah. So That's nice. my shit. Give me some Hendrix, baby. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. I actually have two like like specialty bottles. I haven't opened them yet. Oh wow. I'm saving. There's an Amazonia one. Oh. And then there's like a purple one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I was Think about your girl. <laughs> I got you. I got, well, this has to be after your class yes, as well. Yes, yes. Let's experience the next some things. Let's experience. But you know what? Like, and I got them on vacation. Now imagine if I was like, how are y'all going on vacation? What is your escape? Because yeah. it's not drugs at this point or drinking. Like people can't afford to take flight. And we're not even going to talk about flights because now just for you to have your essential, like a bag, they're charging more for that. Everything is going no. up except you our paychecks. You can't even travel with your bags. No. You got to go with no, that, nothing no. on you. I'm like, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm going to be real. Just charge me more for my flight because I get pissed. You know what I mean? Like but I pay I for my, I just at know, least just. Know. At least just put build it into my flight, yeah. okay? Because I get mad to see all these add-ons, add-ons, add-ons. It's like my dude. Yeah. 
It's the fuck? Lot. It's like everybody's getting over on the little man, which is why there's pretty much no middle, no class. middle class. class. It's like dirt poor or just living the life. Like, Correct. Yeah. Yes. This this can't. The Lord did not put us on this earth to struggle like this. No, nope. and not for other humans. No. And let me tell y'all, we have to get more creative. We have to be more assured. Like right yeah. now, I am doing a course, figuring out this whole uh, self education stuff. Mm -hmm. Put together some classes to sell to y'all. <laughs> okay, y'all watching little plug. It's yeah. coming. <laughs> um, it's coming because that's where it's at. Like. Even colleges. Let's talk about colleges. Another golden handcuff. Woo. All right. People are paying half a fortune. Okay. The, a full fortune. Yeah, what am I talking about? To a full, full brand yeah. right here. fortune. <laughs> okay. A they full have no fortune. problem saying, oh, you want $200,000 in debt? Sign on the dog line. It's not a problem. Think about it later. Correct. With crazy interest rates. Crazy. Crazy. And you get out with information that's outdated. Mm. All right. You're learning shit that will help you in no way in the workforce. Socrates is cool, when, but I don't need him to make a paycheck. All right, I get it. All right, you learn how to think. That's really what they do, but it's like, that's not practical. That's, that's for luxury. All right, we need to teach people practical shit, and that's why the self-education and self-development industry is booming. Just make you to like no work to, to work go work, work yes. for someone else. Yeah. But I like, mean, that's how our whole schooling system was built on. It's yeah, true. To it's begin the, with, which why is the situation. accounting should be a mandatory class, like yes. stocks and Finance bonds, because invested. that's where they make their money. Hello, in their sleep. Hello, you need to sh show people how to make passive income as well, because if this is what it requires to survive, then equip the people with the tools. Correct. Sometimes it's like, you know what, It go ahead, don't be mad or look down on being a plumber, electrician, do your little trade school because you always need them. They charge what they charge and you ain't got no option to say no and they do great as opposed to someone who, not going to knock y'all, but like a psych degree ain't going to get you nowhere. And this is, we've been knowing that. There's very few. You have to, I don't very even think, even with your enough. master's is not enough. You like. Yeah. People are out here PhDing and they are struggling. Some have multiples. Yes. Some people are like professional students just because they're not trying to start paying on those bills. Facts. I and they keep it at one learning, yeah. loaning. Just being a professional scholar that I don't have to look back on these loans. I'm like, yes. you know, I'm going to just go back to school. Go back yes. to school. Go back to school. Some people go into armed forces for that very reason. That and I don't know reason. if it always works out, depending if you don't know what you're going for or if you didn't have a background. Because there, there's always going to be someone trying to take advantage and nickel and dime if you're not assertive and you don't know what you want and how to get it. Because... Yeah. The people who know, know, and they know how to keep it away if you're kind of not like, it's a lot of gatekeeping. And don't gatekeep my freedom, because, <laughs> like. Dude, it's just like, uh, who was I? I don't remember who I was speaking to, but I'm like, it's just like the evolution of slavery, really. You know, mm -hmm. it's like we started with slavery, then we had indentured servitude, then, you know, and now here, sharecropping, and now we have this. You know what I mean? Like these corporate golden handcuffs. And it's like, enough. Yeah. yeah. Enough. Like, yeah. we need to share the wealth. Like, first of all, it's to everyone's advantage. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I get it. You know, I, I do believe, like, the market, you know, depending on the value that you bring to the marketplace is how you are paid. I get that. But come on, there's a there's a minimum that needs to happen. Like people are bringing valuable things yeah. and they are generating revenue yeah. and they're still not getting what they deserve. Right. Like I get it. Fine. You know, you're, you know, no shade, but you're a McDonald's worker. Half the time, you know, you barely, you know, now there are like pictures for you to click on. You don't even need to like read the screen, you know, no shade, but like, you know, I get it. Fine. That in the marketplace yeah. is going to be valued at a, at a lesser rate. Mm -hmm. I, I get that. I'm right. not saying, okay, we're going to go into this, you know, right. same everything. Okay, that's not where I'm getting at. But there needs to be opportunity. The opportunities that were available in America before, I'm not saying there are no opportunities. They are. 
but they're not encouraging people to even make opportunities and go for opportunities and be open because they're they brainwash they're they've brainwashed us so much that people are in this trans state where they're not realizing that there is another way yeah i think also another issue is me being one of them for a very long time right i think what used to like certain industries that were a thing aren't anymore mm -hmm. everything else you can do on this like mini computer everything um you know if i want food i can do it on here if i want clothes furniture whatever it's on here you don't have to go in a department store so many of them close so those people who used to just have like a little menial job at like sears that doesn't exist toys r us that doesn't exist and then you are kind of forced to pick from what's there so you have the walmart you have the target i love you i am not shading you <laughs> i am not um and amazon so whatever they're charging is what we have to pay because that's what's available. And because they have the money to make things convenient, even when I don't want to buy from them. Sometimes it's the so only place you can find yes. stuff. I try so hard not to shop in those places. But let me tell you, it's even so things difficult. like Grubhub, I was watching a great show on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I'm forgetting the name, but dude, like the people, the workers, the restaurants are struggling Hotels. because of these because of these apps like they're losing you know restaurants their profit margins to begin with are not very high mm -hmm. yeah. and with these apps their profit margins have gone to zero or negative and they don't even have the option to not be on the sites because you're people right. won't even see your restaurant right unless you're on these websites like you know, and I I am gun ho technology, and I do believe that we need to create systems where human beings are not doing menial work. I think we're made for more. We're made to be creative. We're made to be inspired. And I do think we need to create avenues where people are, you know, we have availability to do those things. Right. But in the meantime, while we're figuring some of that out, like, we need to let people live. Yeah. We need to we need to make sure technology is working for us and not against yes. us. Yes. And even in that, fine, technology is not going anywhere. People are flying to the moon just because they feel like it, right? But <laughs> Yo. Are facts. Right. Which, let me not even go there. Let's not even technology go there. has existed for a long time, yeah. but I don't even. We're not let's even not even go, go there. there. But fine. Then how about from young? Because these kids are sponges. The things my children know how to do with the phone. I don't even know how, I haven't figured out yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's my phone. Then make STEM more important. Make it everywhere, make it worldwide because that's where we're going, right? Make technology, make coding a thing. We were coding in MySpace and didn't know we were coding. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Were. So you can do it without even realizing you're doing it. But don't say, here guys, this is what you need to study and do yeah. when it's be about to be obsolete in yeah. five seconds if it's our not already. Our education is, is because our educational system is, has, has not kept up with with what's happening in the world like yes. it's just so irrelevant is yes. unflipping believable from elementary school all, all the, the way, way up like it's just irrelevant yeah it is and those who have access who already have access who are already going to be fine are the ones who can set their family and their Correct. children up to already be 10 steps ahead and the rest are just like exceptions or people that have walked into a scenario where right. they were awoken right. into something new because anybody can do it right but like where are you getting that exposure right. i mean even social media you know we want to say oh but there's so much information now but now there's information that's overload so that's a problem and the, these algorithms aren't like oh yeah let me motivate and give this kid that needs no. this from this neighborhood, right? They need more education on that. Let's put that algorithm in there to have that pop up on their feed. No, they're not. They're just reinforcing the same shit that they know and they look for. So where's the growth in that? Yeah. No, nowhere. The growth is in there nowhere. Yeah. And if the let's change are, these algorithms. Right. Is what we need to. And do. for the people who are struggling, they can't police their children. Sometimes they don't even. I have so many patients where I'm listening to what the kids are listening to. I'm like, 
do they even understand what's happening? But yeah. if the parents don't speak English or they don't understand like certain jokes that family guy and American dad, yeah. there's nothing wrong with those shows. It's just not appropriate for those kids. Yeah. But it's selling them and they already got them. And parents are either busy, they're unaware, they're unavailable. And it's just a vicious cycle. It's just Correct. a vicious cycle. And that's why we need these personal people that are dedicating their lives to personal development, to coaching. Right. Like they are saving lives daily because it's really the the industry right now that is propelling people forward. Mm. Propelling people forward. Y'all know I'm gun ho, yeah. gun ho. Like I'm trying to coach y'all. I'll be coaching y'all. Uh, uh, you know, like actually, I like created a little Instagram. I haven't like fully, but I was like, I'm making this a thing. So like, yes. I created an Instagram. I haven't done anything on it yet, but Action. I'm putting it work. in like Action. this is going down, Doris. So uh, look out, guys. Yes, yeah. up. Um, but yeah, man, we just Break those we chains. need to build a revolution here. We need to build a revolution because we are we are the architects of our future and our kids' futures. And, yes. then, you know, we, our generation, really, us millennials, like, we're the ones. Like, Gen Zers are going to assist us in that. Obviously, they're going to be there, but we're going to be the leaders Correct. Yeah. of this movement. You know, we have the experience. We've seen where we were, and we know we don't want to be there, and we can look forward to where we need to be. I agree, because we're in that... Yeah, that in between. That we in between. knew what it was like to not have this kind of technology, yeah. but we grew up with it, so it's very. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you're just like, yeah, I need to put my phone down. Mm -hmm. Whereas for them, they've always been there. Whether it's even us as you know adults, you know, photographing them all the time or mm -hmm. whatever, and they just everything mm -hmm. is instant. We used to have dial up where you have to like take your time. You have to wait for something to download overnight, like. If we can get that patience again, or you have to memorize every phone number. Dude, now it's like the website takes two seconds to load and people are like, Tight. oh my God, what is that? Tight. It's like, whoa. Yeah. It's crazy how like, they look at me like, do you actually remember phone numbers? Yeah. And I'm like, yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I, do I'm not lie. I do know my mama's phone number though, because you need to, you need to know, yeah, you need to know contacts. emergency contacts yes. for sure. But for sure. I do agree. We need to, we need to learn some phone numbers. Yeah. <laughs> we need to learn some like phone it numbers. Like it wasn't, it was a great time. Just in case. Like books were I mean, anything like, can happen. Going to the library. Oh, oh my God. Yes. 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 Do we to the catalog to find the book? Correct. Like, Correct. I still use my library, y'all. I love libraries. But meanwhile, someone can ask you something and Google is free and in your face. And they still won't use it. That shit drives me crazy. Listen, Listen at work, this happens all the time. How do I do this? Oh my God, how do you know that? I Googled it. Yeah. The fuck? Like, yeah. and they're, they're like in their 20s. It's not like, oh, mm. an older person. Like, even older people sometimes will use it more. I'm like, you grew up with this shit. What do you mean? Yeah. You can't f just Google it. Yeah. It's unbelievable. But we're in information overload, like to the sure, point yes. where people not even using it. Yeah, it's true. But that's, that's why, awesome. yeah, it's crazy. It's really, yeah. it's the wild, wild west, guys. But you it, know what? We're a brave generation because we're yeah. here to transition. Yes. You know, this is temporary. I'm definitely one to have a very positive outlook. I know we're going in the right direction. Like, we're just, it's just that, you know, it's like when you're changing states, you know, it's like putting water, making water into steam. Like, before it releases into steam, there's a lot of chaos. You need chaos in order to change. Real change. Yeah, yeah. to affect real change. So we're just in that chaos moment. You know, we need to keep pressing forward and, yeah. and visualizing and and put our intentions out there for what that future is going to be. Because yeah. it's there. That bright future is coming with or without you. you know? mm -hmm. With Talk or without it. you. With Talk or without you. So listen, we're going to be position here. Position yourselves. To motivate y'all to have a drink with y'all to get through it. You know, now we is legal for y'all. We used to have to like Oh my god, go I used to have things. to hide. I used to have to do shady things. Like yes, that's now we can a, just smoke some weed, you can, yo. You can eat it. It comes with so many eat more. It. I mean so many drink things. It. Drink, drink it. it. All Listen, of it. We're gonna get through it. We we that's why we're here. 
here. We have we did it so we didn't have to go through motion. That. Yeah. Really? Like for our muscles. <laughs> All of it. All of That's it. Amazing. So and amazing. the medical, I mean, let's not even go to the medical advancements that are literally we're knocking on. Like they're yeah. there. They're they're there. But yeah, we we're gonna brainstorm some ways, but for now we're gonna say goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. This was awesome, guys. Yes. So this, this is awesome. what the professionals is about. If you didn't yeah. know, if y'all didn't know, this is it. This is what we be out here discussing these <laughs> real yes. topics yes. that are just critically real, important. Real life shit. Yeah. Real rap raw. Is that how so? It yeah. Don't. <laughs> you know, take a leap. Yeah. Don't take get sucked leap. into that yeah. golden handcuffs. You know. Don't do it. Yeah. Take a leap of faith. I like that. The world is working for us. Nah, it's not happening yes, to us. Life is happening for us and not to in your us. Favor. Always, always. Yeah. Love you guys. Like, yeah, subscribe, comment. 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 The All whole it. shebang support us, forward us. Um, we love you. Yeah. Till next time.